This video is going to rush into the discussion of Black Summoner, episode 1. The rush is now going to commence. <laughs> of course you died to a god's mistake, of course, okay. Well, I'm glad you're not even showing it to me. So I guess your life is not gonna matter. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Of course she is very hot, so you're not gonna... I guess she's gonna make an appearance later again. Oh. So wait, why isn't it... Okay. So what's the point of being reincarnated if you lose your memories? I don't get it. I hate the idea of being reincarnated into another world and losing your memories because at that point you just might as well die and it, nothing matters unless you're able to recover your memories. Wait, so did you give up all of your memories? Start? Welcome to another world. Wait. Huh. Couldn't you just edit the knowledge of the modern world and just give him part of his memories or something. Summoning, summoning and appraising. Appraising is always the most important thing, everyone knows it. But summoning. Wait, gamer? Wait, so you do have some. Yeah, summoner. I agree, that is the coolest thing, I'm choosing it as well, if I get the option. This looks decent. We'll see whether they're gonna keep the animation. Wait, there is seriously just gonna be a thing that's always talking to him? Oh. What? Wait, the god of... Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. Oh, oh what? wait, so his summon is the goddess? Good, thank you for telling me that he already has the power of a literal god at episode 1. He literally has the power of the god that brought him to this world. Okay, so she's taking this as a bit of a rest. Okay, alright, so I'm glad she's doing this just because. Oh. Okay, so he had an option. True. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, but I remember it. Oh. <laughs> God, I really suppose she's a goddess, right? I'm so excited. I love summoning. I know I'm gonna be watching another sky with summoning. I'm hoping there is something serious because, uh, frankly, I feel like the comedy is over than just in this sky. No, there's Okay, okay. So those are important skills. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for being honest. Okay, so by the way, this girl with the guilt. I mean, she knows that, right? I guess she's a nice person, that's why she's not gonna say that. Oh, from F to S. Okay, I like this system. Yep, pretty straightforward. Okay, so 10 jobs of the same thing in a row and you... Okay, fair enough. Oh yeah, there we go. What's up with boost wives and contracts? Apparently the other summary anime does the same thing, so... I don't know. Also, why was the girl so panicked? Okay, showing me the stats, level 1. How far apart is he? Once again, he has a god with him, but can he summon it? Obviously he can't. So, I, I do like that at least there is a reason why he gave up his memory. It's not because he hated his wife, he just wanted more powers, which... I feel like it's a stupid idea still. Maybe give up some memories, but everything? Is it like a sharing gun? Oh yeah, it is. Total. It's pretty cool. Cool. Oh, wow. Yes. Probably more than you're gonna have for a long amount of time. Wow, I'm actually enjoying this. It's actually kind of slow, but I'm having fun. Okay, I'm liking this one more than I expected. Uh, oh, I love that. <laughs> Swarm attack. Dodge. Ouch. Oh, the music changed. Whoa, what's up with the music? <laughs> it's strong. <laughs> okay. Oof. Wow, it's bigger than I thought, though. I mean, yeah, obviously enough. I guess swarms are the equivalent of annoying insects. Oof. Oh, okay, spin. There we go. Does that do damage to it, or does it have resistance to bludgeoning? Okay. Oh, mana? Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Does it evolve? Does it work like... I love summoning. Like, I'm so hyped for this. I really am. It doesn't seem like they evolve. Oh. No, oh, that's intriguing. Sermon Network. Fair enough. Cloth? That's an endless one. Ah! <laughs> so, do they evolve? It actually looks differently. Oh. Okay. Okay, guess it's hyped. It is actually way bigger than I thought. Yeah, tactics. 
there's gonna be so fun to watch an anime where the main character and seems like he doesn't be, be start over part so i actually like that as well seems like he's pretty hyped here we go oh my goodness he's bigger <laughs> oh that was quick okay explanation they become stronger whoa it's quite summoner enchants so he's a super swan whoa 100 and yeah Yep. Oh, right now. Okay. Ooh. I love that. That's a very good way to make summoners strong. So he's gonna be naming all of them. That's delightful. Wait. Does that mean that the goddess also gets the boost? Okay, so she did give you money at the start. Wow, so it really is luck again. So, uh, uh, okay, I do have some things to discuss. Yeah, what's your opinion on that now that you don't have... Oof. An elf. Hmm. Mixed blood. What's happening? What's happening? This was odd. That was very interesting reaction. It seemed like he wanted to do something then... I don't think he had the money right now, but still. Alright, seems like fairly standard. Hmm. Yeah, that would be the, the, the difficult thing. God, that would be the one thing it would be difficult. I, I, I really love magic. I just love the concept. Other worlds, this guy, adorable, amazing. But the lack of toilets. Oof. That will be rough. Obviously, a perspective on the world, but hey, no toilets, that's the worst. Hmm, I feel like that's gonna take some time. Oh! Wow, why aren't there more people in this? Yeah, sure did, and the episode is over. Alright. I really hate the idea that he gave his memories, but otherwise, yeah, without memories. Well, this was actually a very, very good episode. I think this is. It's strange, I feel like it was a slow episode, but I enjoyed it a lot. I had a lot of fun with it. It never did anything that made me really, really, really invested. Like, did you have that one amazing moment of animation or that amazing thing that truly shattered my expectations? But I think the fact that it is clearly enough an isekai with a summoner kind of personally Personally, that kind of sells it immediately. Like, the second they knew of the trailer, kind of was um, immediately sold. Like, based on that alone. And honestly, I feel like the trailer did a disservice to this. But also, also, I feel like the animation is probably not going to be absolutely amazing. I am hoping they're probably saving up for the actually important things when it comes to real fights. I'm really hoping at least. At the end we saw some of the other creatures he's probably gonna be taming or maybe defeating. And actually both, right? Because he didn't mention the things that you can't really convince you need to talk to. Yeah. And we got a lot of world building, which also was insanely nice. The reason why the goddess actually agreed to go with him. The reason why he's actually a little more powerful than normal people is that he actually gave something in return. And that is a good uh, that is a good way for them to do it, but now I am super interested in his memories. Normally in Iskai stories like these, they don't really go over the memories, and there is no reason for that being the case. And if anything, I feel like it's a negative to the story that they don't do it often. And also it's a very big positive to a certain extent, because, I mean, I feel like if you're going, if you're doing this, I feel like you sh if you are going to a new world with a character, I feel like you should cover at least certain aspects of their previous life. Obviously, you know, the two examples which I do remember are Re Zero and uh, Mushoku Tensei. I think they did a decent job of actually keeping the fact that those characters have experienced their previous wives, but they're also now in a new world. I think they're doing a good job with that. I feel I, I feel like I'm enjoying more Mushoku Tensei, but honestly, that story where the character is his whole journey is just changing into a completely new different persons but anyway actually it's about every character i just think that's something that really should be done pretty much in always sky where the main character well maybe not you know but you know what more where the main character actually goes on a journey to change from what he was before and that doesn't necessarily have to be because he was actually unsatisfied with his previous wife i would like to see someone who actually has ha was happy with his previous wife but is also happy with this one that would be that's actually rare right I mean, I suppose some of the characters they do, like, no, Fumi actually, he didn't hate his previous wife. He didn't feel accomplished in it, but he didn't really hate it from Shield Hero I'm talking about. But anyway, point is, this is super exciting because 
Uh, him giving up his memories give a reason to why we are not gonna delve into his development. He's pretty much an entire new character. All information we're gonna get on him from the past is from the goddess, which obviously he has tamed now because yeah, he has a goddess. And apparently she is, uh, I mean she is, should be so, so powerful that he will not be able to summon her for a long amount of time. We also once again got amazing world building with the fact that apparently everyone in the world is currently a C class or a, at max a B class summoner. And each country has only one. That's how rare this ability is. And I get why. Because they did never mentioned anything about the limit of the creatures you can tame. And they also never mentioned a limit of the power of the creature you can tame. So technically, if you can convince a literal god, obviously, to join you, you can do it. Obviously, if you won't have the mana to summon them for a long amount of time. But you can do it, which is quite ridiculous. I understand why they've made it overpowered. So I am remarkably excited about this because personal opinion summoners don't get enough representation. And even after this anime and the fact that I'm going to watch another anime with a summoner, I still feel like that's the case. Even if these two anime are absolutely amazing and everyone loves them, I still feel like I want more. That's how much I love summoners. Like, they do. It is the absolute best. I just... if. Any game gives me the opportunity to be a summoner, I immediately choose it. I, like there is no choice to be made for me. But hey, that's how much I love the powers of summoners. And in this world, once again, seems like they're setting up the world. Seems like they've set up this something for the characters. I am just having fun. It seems like it's going to be very chill. They're not going to go too dark. But also, it seems like the main character is not going to be super overpowered. He'll be much stronger than an average person. But he might actually struggle against certain things. We'll see. It seems like he is super powerful, but not so powerful that he will never experience challenge. Which I think that's a good way for them to do this guy. I don't mind the main character being overpowered. It's fun to always have that too. But I would like it to be somewhere in the middle. Where, once again, the main character is way stronger than the average person. But it's not so strong that nothing can stop him or them, whatever. Point is though, this is super fun and I'm truly looking forward to the next one. But for now, there is video. Subscribe to the channel there and bye.